Hey guys, it's Sana and I am back with another video. Um, and this time it is a drugstore beauty video. So um, I filmed this look that I have on now. <laughs> and everything that I use is either from the beauty supply store, Walmart, Target, whatever. And it's super inexpensive and I hope you like it. Welcome back to the Twin Diaries. Hey guys, it's Sana. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and dive in with this look. Right now, I'm applying the Nubian by Juvia's palette, and I'm using the gold color that's in the palette. And right here I'm just showing you that I'm getting the brown color on the bottom of the palette and it's like a matte brown and I'm just blending that into my crease and that'll just help it blend into the gold a little bit more it's kind of like our background color and for some reason I just put my eyeshadow on my lid first before I did my crease but usually I would do my crease before I do the actual lid Now on the very bottom of the palette, the very right hand corner at the bottom, um, there's a dark brown color so I'm just taking that and blending that into my crease as well to create more depth. I'm just going in again with that gold color in the palette and just reapplying it to my lid because when I was doing the crease it started to fade a little bit so I'm just going back in and going over it a little bit more now I'm going in with my foundation and today I'm using LA Pro Girl HD foundation in the color warm caramel and I did not know that it was like as full coverage as it is but man let me tell you it is a good foundation When I'm using this foundation, I use a wet like beauty blender or um, the other sponges that they have out there. Um, I forgot the one, name of the one that I'm using, but I thoroughly blend it out with that sponge. And I feel like it helps really spread it across the face, especially because some it could tend to dry. But when you're using the sponge, you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so here I'm going in with the Garnier Soothing Facial Mist, and it has rose water in there, and it's vegan. It's amazing. And here, now I'm going in with LA Pro Girls Concealer in the color Fawn, and um, that's what I'm going to use to conceal my under eyes, and then I'm also probably going to use that on my nose, chin, and forehead.
And here I'm just going in with LA Pro Girls HD Powder. Um, it's the setting powder, the white one, and well, really, it's just translucent. But that's what I'm going to use to conceal all the areas that I put the concealer. And um, yeah, I'm just going to bake, bake it up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and swipe all that away. I don't bake for very long because my skin is dry, kind of normal to dry so I don't like to bake for too long I feel like it takes all the moisture or whatever out of my face and now I'm just going in with black radiance soft um, finishing powder and I do not know the color because it's rubbed off since I had it for so long but it's just whatever color matches my skin And here I'm just going to go in with Absolute New York Strobing and Shading Highlight and Contour Palette, which let me tell you, it is so pigmented, and for especially because it was literally only $10, I wasn't expecting much when I bought it. But look, if you find it and I got it at the beauty supply store, get it because it actually works really, really well. And again, I'm just now going in with the Nubian by Juvia's palette again, and I am highlighting my brow bone with the color all the way in the left um, top corner, and it's the lightest shade that's in the palette, and it is so pretty, and I'm just going to put that all over my brow bone. And once again, my friends, I am going to spray my face with Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist because why not? And here I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones and um, on this kind of like above going like it's kind of like a C going around my eye with um, NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder. It's their highlight. It's white. But the color is Snow Rose. Snow Rose. And let me tell you, it is so pretty. And um, it looks good on everybody. And as you can see here, I get a smaller brush and I highlight the um, bridge of my nose. And I just like to do that too make it look sleeker and it just I don't know, always do it and I am back my friends and this time my lashes are on and I did not do it on camera because I struggle so much with lashes because I'm used to wearing lash extensions so yeah All right, and now I'm going to be applying NK's Ma NK Makeup Whipped Lip Gloss in the color Red Wood. And um, it was a lot lighter than I expected it to be. So I'm actually going to go in with a liner. And the liner is um, the color Wild Cherry, and it's also NK Makeup. By the way, guys, it was literally... 99 cents for the liner and 149 for the lipstick.
So now I'm going to go in on my bottom lash line with that same lip liner. And I know that's weird, but actually it works really well. It's been instead of like putting, um, you know, like eyeshadow on your bottom lash line and a little bit under it. And now I'm just going to go in with a black mascara by Rommel. And it's like called Voluminous Lash, I believe. So yeah. And now I'm going to go in with a black liner and line my inner lash line. Alright, that is all I have for you guys today. And I hope you enjoyed this look. Peace and blessings.